The topic of this video is solving logarithmic and exponential equations. The problem says, solve 2 log base 8 of the difference x minus 4 plus log base 8 of 16 equals 2 for x. And this problem will be solved by referencing tips 1, 2, 3, and 8 as stated in a previous video. Alright, so let's go over the tips first. Tip 1 says, that the equations that you will use the most often are your converter and the law of logarithms. The law of logarithms says log base a of m equals log base a of n implies that m equals n. Uh, in this problem, it's going to be the converter that we will use. Tip two, when solving a logarithmic equation, the first step is to identify the domain. Well, this is definitely a logarithmic equation. It's an equation because it contains equals. It's a logarithmic equation because it contains the word log. So the first step to solving this problem will be to find the domain. The last step will be to throw out any solutions that are outside of the domain. Tip three says when logs of the same base are being added or subtracted, combine them using rule six or rule seven. In this problem, we can see we have two logs with the same base that are being added. Of course, we'll have to get rid of the two in front of the first log before we can use rule six to combine them together. And finally, tip eight says, if you get an answer, always be sure to check it. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do here is domain. One of the things that we learned in a previous video is you can only take the log of a positive real number. So what that means is for each log, you should identify the argument and make sure that that argument is a positive real number. Well, 16 is a positive real number, so we're fine as far as that's concerned, but we don't know the value of x, so what we'll do is write an algebraic statement instead. x minus 4, which is the argument, has to be positive, in other words, greater than 0. And by adding 4 on both sides, we get x is greater than 4. So our domain for this problem is x is greater than 4. If we get any answers that are not greater than 4, we will throw them away as extraneous. And while we're at it, before we move on, I'd like you to notice that we have a logarithm here that has a number for both the base and the argument, which means that's always an opportunity for us to stop and think. Can this be rewritten in an easier, more convenient way? Log is egob. Egob is exponent goes on base. So what is the exponent goes on base 8 to make 16? 8 times itself, how many times gives you 16? I don't know the answer to that. 8 raised to the 0 would be 1. 8 raised to the 1 would be 8. 8 raised to the 2 would be 64. We didn't get a 16 anywhere in there. So for that reason, we're simply going to have to solve this using our log properties. All right, great. So here we go. We're now going to begin using our log properties in an attempt to get x alone. All right, I know that we need to combine these two logs into 1. But before we can do that, we have to get rid of this too, so we're going to use rule 9. Rule 9 says r log base a of m is the same thing as log base a of m to the r power. In other words, the r can go from outside of the brick to inside of the brick, where it becomes the exponent of the argument. So by using rule 9, we're going to write log base 8 of the difference x minus 4 squared plus log base 8 of 16 equals 2. This 2 moves to become the exponent of the log argument, and it shows up here. All right, next we're going to use rule 6. Rule 6 says when two logs with the same base are being added, you can combine them into a single log. You just have to multiply the two arguments. So then we'll have an x minus 4 squared multiplied by the 16. Both of those two arguments combining together to form a new argument. The right-hand side, of course, does not change. Equals 2. Okay, so what I want you to notice about the problem right now is that we have one of the four equation forms in tip number one, uh, specifically the one in the upper right-hand corner, y equals log base a of x. And what that means is that we have one base, one, arg uh, one argument, and one exponent, and therefore we can rewrite this using our converter. 
Uh, don't let the fact that there's so many pieces inside this log argument throw you off. It's still just one log argument. So we have the three things here that we need to use our converter. One base, one argument, and one exponent. So let's fill in our converter. This is a logarithmic equation, so we use the log side. And we can see that the base is 8, log base 8. So I'm going to write log base 8. We can see that the argument is everything in the brackets, and there's no way I'm going to fit all that in this little circle. So I'm just going to put brackets, and you'll know what I mean by that. And then on the other side of equals is 2. So on the other side of equals here, we put 2. Now match up the colors and shapes. Blue box gets an 8. Green trapezoid gets a 2. Red circle gets everything in the brackets. So we will rewrite this logarithmic equation in exponential form as 8 squared equals all that stuff in brackets. All right, here we go. So now we have this, 8 squared equals everything in brackets. And of course, everything in brackets would be x minus 4 squared times 16. Now, interestingly, once it's written in this form, we really don't need the brackets anymore. The brackets were only needed here because that was our way of indicating that the whole thing was the argument of our log. But now that we just have a, a statement without log, these brackets are no longer necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and erase those. Okay, so now we have an intermediate algebra problem to solve. We are no longer in the realm of college algebra. So let's uh, see what we can do with this. 8 squared is 64, so 64 equals x minus 4 squared times 16. And I'm noticing that my variable x is inside parentheses, uh, and those parentheses are being squared. Uh, eventually, I want that square to go away, and so I'm thinking well, I'm going to use the square root property to solve this problem which means I need to get the squared part of the problem alone. I need to isolate this part of the problem so that I can use my square root property. So I'll divide both sides by 16. Then on the left, I will have 4. And on the right, I will have x minus 4 squared. Notice these 16s over here on the right are canceling. And now I can use my square root property. Now, most of the time when you use the square root property, the part being squared is on the left, so I'm going to move it to the left. The square root property says that you can drop the square and the parentheses on the left side if you just put plus or minus square root on the right. So we get x minus 4 equals plus or minus the principal square root of 4. The principal square root of 4 is 2, so we get x minus 4 equals plus or minus 2. And this is actually two statements in one, one equation for the plus, one equation for the minus. So we get x minus 4 equals negative 2, or x minus 4 equals positive 2. And by adding 4 to both sides of both equations, we get x equals 2, or x equals 6. However, remember that the very first thing we did for this problem was find the domain. The domain says x is greater than 4. And for that reason, we have to throw away this 2. So our only final answer to this problem is x is greater than 6. Now, we're going to check our answer. And to do that, I need to clear away most of the board here. So I'm going to do some erasing. Whenever you get an answer, you should always check it. OK, here we go, checking our answer. So we've got 2 log base 8 of x, which we found to be 6, so we're going to write 6 minus 4. Plus log base 8 of 16 equals 2. All right, let's start simplifying. 6 minus 4 is 2, so we get log base 8 of 2, we still have this 2 in front of it, plus log base 8 of 16 equals 2. Using rule 9, we'll move this 2 over here, and we'll get log base 8 of 2 squared plus log base 8 of 16 equals 2. Of course, 2 squared is 4, so then we have log base 8 of 4 plus 
log base 8 of 16 equals 2. Two logs with the same base being added, rule 6 allows me to combine them into one log by multiplying the two uh, arguments, and 4 times 16 is 64. So I get log base 8 of 64 equals 2. And now I take a moment and I think. I have a log where I have a number for the base and a number for the argument. So what is the exponent that goes on base 8 to make 64? How many times do you have to multiply 8 by itself to make 64? The answer is 2. And if 2 is the missing exponent, then 2 is the value of this log. And therefore, we get 2 equals 2, and it checks. Therefore, our answer, x equals 6, is validated as being correct.